Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to take a first look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI, version 3.3, now with Super Focus Beta and Recover Faces Generation 2. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. We're going to get a first look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI version 3.3. In this new update, we have Super Focus Beta, Recover Faces Generation 2. They've updated the Remove Tool Design, Sony and Nikon Raw Color Improvements, and they've updated the Preferences menu. But today, I want to get a look at Super Focus Beta and Recover Faces Generation 2. Let's start off by looking at Recover Faces Generation 2. Now, to add Recover Faces, come to Add Enhancements, click the plus, and you'll find it right here, Recover Faces. Click on that, and that opens up your control panel. And you'll notice right now, according to the preferences, how I have this set up, it is looking for low-quality faces. It found four. Now, this face right here, I would not want to recover. So if I click on this box, I can get rid of that face. But notice over here, faces to recover. We get a lot of different options here. We can choose all faces or just low-quality faces. Let me click on low-quality faces, and you notice that face comes back in. Or if I click on in subject, that face drops out because it is not part of the subject. And it's saying in subject three, you're only seeing two here. But if I move over to the left here, you can see there is that third face because I am zoomed in to like uh, 256% right now. The default setting for recover faces will be generation two beta because it is the best. You're going to get a higher resolution, just a better quality result. Even though it is in beta, it's really nice. If we want to see the original Recover Faces, we can click on the drop down and click on Generation 1. Now, here is Generation 1. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more here, and let's just look at this girl's face. Now, let me click this button to show you what it looks like without face recovery. It would look like this, pretty bad, right? And now, let me click this button again, and now we can see this is Generation 1. Now, let's go and change this to Generation 2 beta and see the difference. Okay, that looks a lot better because we are getting higher resolution here. Take a look at the teeth when I move over to Generation 1. Now, here's Generation 1. See the teeth? They don't look as natural, and we've definitely lost a little bit of resolution. Now, let's go to Generation 2 beta. See, it's much improved. And let's see the overall before. I'm going to click this button to show the original. This is the original without face recovery. And this is what it looks like with Generation 2 face recovery. So pretty good. I, I really like this feature. And let's look at this face so you can see what it looks like on this face. This is without it. Oh, pretty bad. <laughs> this is with it. Much improved. And let's take a look at this face. This is without and now here it is with face recovery generation two. So it's pretty nice. I think you need to give it a try. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on recover faces generation two beta. Now let's check out super focus beta and find out what it's all about. This is a Canon raw file and it's really out of focus. That's why I chose this one. So we could check out super focus beta. Right now, let's click on Add Enhancements, and let's click on Sharpen, and let's try the normal Sharpen adjustments. We're zoomed into 100%. Let's go ahead and zoom into 200%. Let's look right in this area here. If I click on Edit Selection, I'm selecting All, so let's go ahead and change this to just the subject, and I'll go and click on Controls again, so this way we'll only be sharpening up the subject. And now we can see it. Let's click on the uh, show original button right here. Here's the original. And here is after Photo AI has sharpened it using the standard adjustment. So I don't know. It's better, but it's not that good. You know, we could try to give it more sharpening here just to see if it'll help. It's a little better, but not that good. We could try refocus. This is what it looks like with refocus. Eh, kind of weird in here. Not really happy with that. Let's give it a little extra strength. Uh, no, that looks really bad. Let's try lens blur. That does actually look a little bit better. Let's try lens blur version 2. Um, I don't think so. And let's try strong. 
Uh, not very good. Let's increase the strength. That's not too bad, but not great. Here's the before, and here's the after. And let's try natural. Uh, no, that doesn't look good. I believe the only one I didn't try was motion blur, so let's try motion blur. And that is motion blur. Here's before, here's after. Not too good either. Now we're going to try out Super Focus Beta. So let me go ahead and click the X for Sharpen and get rid of that Sharpen module. Super Focus Beta is right here. It's not inside Add Enhancements, so click on Super Focus Beta. The display area for Super Focus Beta opens up. The first thing I'm going to do is click on Edit Selection, and we want to choose Subject Only. And now we'll go back to Controls. To help Super Focus out, if you have a shallow depth of field image like this one, it's best to choose the subject only. Now you'll also note here it says Super Focus allows you to correct out of focus images using generative AI. And under preview control, we have three preview sizes. See this little square box? This is a preview window. There's three sizes. This is the small size, this is the medium size, and this is the large size. One thing I must tell you about Super Focus, it is super slow, but Topaz know about it, and they're working to speed it up. Now, that being said, a large preview window like you see right here compared to a small preview window, large will take much longer to show you a preview than small or medium will. So experiment with the different sizes. Right now I'm using the small preview window. So what I need to do is we need to set up the settings. Right now I'm on low. This is really out of focus. So let me go to medium. I'll click on medium. And then we also have focus boost, which I'll get to in a minute. But first off, let's try medium. And to generate a preview window, just hover the window over the area you want to generate and left click with your mouse. And then rendering preview comes up here. And I'll leave this in real time just to show you how long it takes in my iMac 2019 model, which is pretty fast to be honest with you, but this is how long it takes to preview out this little area here. And you can make as many of these preview windows, I think, on the image as you want. So we can preview this area, and then we could go and preview a different area and see multiple preview areas at once because the actual rendering takes a very long time. So there it is there. That was medium, so you can see the result. Now, I'm going to click the little eye here, so you can see here's without super focus sharpening, and now here it is with. Now, that's a big improvement over the standard sharpening models, but let's not stop here. Let me go ahead and click on high, and we'll let this render out. So I'm going to hover over that same area right here and click. This time, I won't make you wait the entire time. Okay, and there is the result. That definitely looks better. Here it is without sharpening. And now here it is with sharpening. And now let's uh, go and hover over this area and let's render it out here in this leaf and see what it looks like. Okay, that looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? So let's look at a before and after. Here's before and here's after. It's done a really good job in my opinion. And I think I'd be happy with that. Let me go ahead and render this area right here. I'm going to click and let's preview this and see what we get. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me see a before. Here's a before and here's after. So I like the result here. Now, if you weren't happy with your results, you see focus boost right here. Right now I'm set for none. If I hover over the eye, it tells us use on very blurry images. Focus boost corrects images that are missing detail by downscaling your image, then upscaling the results back to the original size. I don't need it on this, but if you have an issue where it's really not getting it when you try low, medium, or high, then you may want to try adding the focus boost. Start out with minor and then go with major. Now, let's say I'm happy with the results I'm getting here for my three preview windows and I'm ready to render this. At this point, you need to click on render. And now you see it says super focusing your image. Now it's calculating the estimated time of arrival. Now this takes a very long time. It hasn't even told us how long it will take yet, but it has to render it here in super focus. And then we still have to save it out or export the image, but it has to render the focus first. 
And now note, we do have a time, about 53 minutes remaining. So that's a long time. Again, Topaz know about this. They're working on this to get it faster. But for now, if you have an image that is really out of focus and you really love the image, but you want to recover that bad focus, super focus beta can really help, as you can see right here. I'm just going to go ahead for now and cancel this because I did save this one out yesterday. And I'm just going to click on stop rendering. And now I just want to show you my result from the other day when I saved out the image after I waited like the 53 minutes. So this is the after right here, and this is the before. So as you can see, this is all out of focus, and this is the result. I went ahead and zoomed in so you could really see this is the before, and now here is the after. So again, I think it did a real good job. If you're willing to wait that time, this is something you may want to try, super focus. But at least you could go ahead and check it out using the preview windows inside the Photo AI app just to see what kind of a result you'll get. Because there you don't have to waste too much time seeing what kind of a result you'll get. And then you'll know whether it's worth waiting the render time to correct your image focus problem. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's first look at Topaz Photo AI, the latest update, version 3.3, now with Super Focus Beta and Recover Faces Generation 2. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, click all so that you'll receive all notifications, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.